I was expecting you. I knew you would come. Have you ever in your entire life seen anything so beautiful? I'm sorry, I don't know anything about stamps. The idea of stamps is that they were the introduction to the world, and that great men, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, was a stamp collector. I'm Ernest Borgnine. Willis Reed. Stamp collector is number one. I collect stamps. It's fascinating, intriguing, mind-expanding. That is the great fascination of philately. I was unnaturally attached to that stamp. This little piece of paper could give me that much pleasure. I wasn't into girls, athletics, any of that stuff. I never get out of stamps. Things that I loved as a kid, that like now when I find them as an adult, I'm super psyched about. I am such a collector. Have you always wanted to go to Chile? Have you, have you, uh, do you like teapots? I mean, it, it doesn't matter, because I guarantee you there is something in philately for you. You're really trying to get more people to start collecting stamps again, because yes. it's kind of become a little bit of a thing of the past. Rumors of the impending death of philately have been around a long time, certainly. One senses that they may not be unwarranted. My kid can spend all day playing basketball, which he does, and to say, hey, no, 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 you, there's a basketball series of stamps that Malta did in 1974, that just doesn't work anymore. I'm not all that enthralled that this is what my life has become, because to me, it, you know, it really means I failed at doing the things that most people have uh, managed to succeed at. I don't think that if this hobby fades, that it's going to represent some sort of signal loss to humanity. It is, for its size and weight, the most valuable item in the world. The British Guyana one cent magenta. It is one of the ugliest yeah, looking stamps you can ever see. <laughs> yeah. It's an extremely ugly stamp. When there's only one and it's got a purse tag like that on it, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> Pennsylvania collector Erwin Weinberg paid a record $280,000 for the British Guiana 10 years ago. I only ever had one great idea. That was it. Most famous stamp in the world. I don't know what it'll fetch, but let's assume for the sake of argument, it brings a price never before heard of by man or beast. A rare stamp could fetch up to $20 million at auction. That's like blowing my mind a little bit. I don't know how people really exist without collecting. How do they procrastinate? have to have the strength of your convictions.